Um, it's this awkward buffer time, but keep letting each other know in the chat what your favorite outdoor activities is or camping activities. I actually used to be in Girl Scouts, so I did a lot of camping and cooking in the woods, and it was really fun and very wholesome. Awesome. Well, we are live on YouTube. So hello, everyone watching our recording and also live. Um, we're super excited to be here with Habit Factory hosting Portfolio Campfire. And you are in our kickoff or orientation. And um, so you're here to join us for a two week workshop journey. Um, and also, if you're not in Discord already, make sure to fill out the form um, really quick in your, app, in your acceptance letter email. And with that, I'll kick it off to Anna for the presentation. Perfect. Thank you, Grace, for the introduction. Uh, uh, can you all see this? Yeah, we can see it. Okay, perfect. Everybody, welcome to the Portfolio Campfire. Uh, like Grace said, my name is Anna. Um, I'm one of the co-hosts of the Habit Factory. Um, and today is the first day, the first kickoff session for our workshop. So this, as you know, is our 14 day uh, workshop for building your portfolio. And everyone here in this chat, um, in this workshop, uh, everyone is an artist or designer. So everyone's just like you. Um, we built this community so that we can uh, basically build our portfolios all together. Um, and it's been a really great experience for everybody in the past. So we wanted to partner up with the design buddies to um, just have more people join our community. So without further ado, Grace, yeah, would you like so yeah, of course. So welcome. Um, if you're all new to Design Buddies, I randomly made Design Buddies in April of 2020 um, because I want to make friends or buddies with other designers. I felt really intimidated and a lot of online design communities. So I decided to create my own and that happened to be Design Buddies. Um, and so far we have a ton of like mentorship, events, interest club, portfolio reviews, lots of lots of basically content to help y'all level your design career no matter where you are in your journey. Um, and as of today, we have 27,000 members and growing and we've hosted over 50 events um, with a lot of very different people from all walks of life as well. And you're welcome to connect with us and join our Discord um, or on all our social media as well, or visit our website at designbuddies.community. And just, um, just some house rules for all Design Buddies events. Um, all events are recorded unless otherwise notified. Um, so y'all, so the buddies from different time zones may watch as well. And y'all can go back and watch the recording if you have to drop off at any point. Um, and you're welcome to engage via chat. This is meant to be like, as we're all together in the same room. And if you really resonate with anything um, of the content created, you're welcome to comment in the chat as well. Um, and we usually, we don't have a networking sheet this time, but we do have an introductions channel in, um, in the Discord where you can plug your links and stuff and connect with each other. Um, and we don't have a slide for this event as well. Um, and at the end, we also take a group selfie. And if you visit that link, you can get your own Design Buddy Zoom background as well. And as always, we love we love to see what y'all learn from our events. So you're all welcome to share your takeaways on social media, tagging Design Buddies and Habit Factory as well for this one. Um, just connect with each other. Everyone here is designer or artist. Um, hop into our Discord and just have fun and be respectful. Um, and thank you. All right. So welcome again to the Habit Factory. Um, we're doing this work workshop in collaboration with the Design Buddies, as you already know. So it's a very special edition of our workshop. It's officially our sixth co cohort um, and our first with the Design Buddies. So everybody, welcome. Um, as you all know, portfolios are that one project that we just can't really ever finish, ever. Um, they are one of the most hardest, most stressful projects that don't, don't end simply because our work just keeps um, updating. They keep Making, we keep making progress. So we came up with this workshop because we thought we could make that portfolio making process easier or at least more enjoyable with the community around you. So uh, through this workshop, you'll find that you'll have uh, a lot of feedback and a lot of practice um, talking about yourself and your work over and over and over again so that you could ace your next interview or win a client in the future if you do freelance work. So a bit about us, um, if you're a creative coach uh, from the Habit Factory, say hi uh, or wave hi. And if you're uh, from the Design Buddies team, 
also wave high. Um, so for the Habit Factory, we're all about helping artists and designers uh, transform and level up through um, do, making more uh, better work, better creative work. And as you guys already know, the Design Buddies is an inclu inclusive design community um, that welcomes all creatives. So we're super excited to welcome, welcome you here. You'll also get to meet and connect with uh, dozens of other creatives just like you. So I'm pretty excited about this. So we're here to do two big things. The number one thing you already know is to commit to making everyday progress on your portfolio website, because we all know that actually doing the work to your website is what will actually get your website done. If you don't do the work, your website will not get done. As simple as that. The second thing we're here to do is to help you build your creative confidence um, in yourself and your own creative identity around doing what you love, which is design. So in the past, we found that a lot of our members really enjoyed um, these couple key things that we offer. So in this workshop, we offer an environment where you can really confidently share your really rough uh, work in process. So like things like just screenshots, rough, uh, like first drafts, uh, things that are really unedited, like everything like that, you can feel free to share it in the, in the channels of the workshop. Um, everybody loves getting feedback on where they are. It really helps them grow um, both profess professionally and um, internally, I guess. Uh, we also have three portfolio campfire nights. This is the first one. It's basically when we meet up to, um, just either present your portfolios or just have an orientation meeting. We also offer daily prompts uh, and have industry mentors join us um, at the last part of the workshop to give you extra feedback before you leave. And then we'll also be giving you relevant resources um, or articles relating to portfolio building. So let's get comfy. Um, in the chat, just type down what city you're from just so we can get to know you, uh, where we'll be kind of you know, engaging with. I can't really see the chat, but if somebody can read out the answers, that'd be great. Sydney, would you be able to read out some of the? There is a lot of them, but I would be happy to read them out. Let me see yeah. what I can get. Um, we have the Bay Area in California. We have some uh, Hamilton, Ontario, Canada, Calgary, Alberta, Toronto, Ontario. Ankara, Turkey, it's super cool international. Uh, well, Canada, <laughs> the states are two different countries. Um, ooh, let's see. Yeah, just so many. Vancouver, Seattle, Washington. Yeah, we're all over. It's great. Yeah, everybody's from a, a totally different part of the world, and it sounds great. Um, I think through this workshop, you'll uh, start to realize that no matter where you are in the world, everybody kind of has like a very similar um, take when it comes to building your portfolio. So it'll be really exciting. So the second question um, we have for you is with a show of hands, with a show of fingers, how many years have you been doing creative work for either professionally or casually? Um, you can either show it on camera or put it in the chat. I can't see you right now. So Sydney, would you please um, verbally? <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. I love to be your eyes. Um, you. Okay, so we, have, we have zero to one years, two plus years, awesome. ooh, uh, about 10 years or so is what someone said. Uh, three years, five years, four years, first year, hee <laughs> hee. I love that one. <laughs> um, yeah, like very, very various, um, someone with eight years. So 11 years, well, okay. So anywhere from like, this is kind of the starting point this year to, you know, like over a decade. Awesome. Crazy. We love to gear our workshop for um, basically anybody who has the goal of um, building and making process on their portfolio. So everybody at any, well, any level is welcome. And then next and finally, in one sentence, just type down the work you want to do um, in the design field in the chat. So if you want to do UX design, type down UX design. If it's motion design, 3D rendering, graphic design, video editing, content creation, you name it. Tons of UX design. Holy cow. That was like all at once too. That was so funny seeing it come up over and over. Um, some people say industrial design, product design, UI design, 
web design, visual, motion design, 3D illustrations. Cool. Yeah, definitely a lot of UX design. It's a it's a big awesome. industry. Right we'll have a very diverse crowd for sure. So our 14 day experience, um, you will find that you'll have 14 days of daily work and feedback on your portfolio progress. And you'll also get to meet dozens of creatives just like you who are committed to grow and learn. Um, we'll also have these online meetups to connect and strengthen your presentation skills and confidence. So we talk about daily work a lot because it's basically what will get you through to the next goal post. Um, we believe that when you do daily work or work on a daily basis, everything adds up in the end and you know, you'll know you just reach your whatever your goal is at the very end and you won't even realize it. So just in daily progress into your portfolio and you'll realize that you'll get to wherever you need to go. Um, so put your daily work under our get feedback channel inside the discord uh, to get your progress thread rolling along. Uh, so with also with the uh, process of just sharing your work on a daily basis with other people, um, we hope that helps you break down some insecurities about sharing your work. We know when you're a creative or a designer or an artist, you kind of have this insecurity around um, like, is it per like, is it perfect? Is it good enough to share with anyone? I don't really want to share this with anyone if it's not good. Um, we really take that and just like, you know, get rid of it because that's, we don't think that's how you grow. Um, so if you could just, just, you know, take it away just for like two seconds to, to just dive deep into this workshop and just share your work wherever you are. Um, we hope that can get your progress rolling. So we also offer daily feedback, like we mentioned, um, because we believe that it's not how you perceive your work, but how other people perceive your work. So you can only find out how your work is being perceived by others by showing it to other people and listening to what other people have to say. Um, so we have tons of creative coaches and members of the uh, Portfolio Campfire community who will be giving you feedback um, every day of the week to stretch your creative boundaries. And you also have tons of creative coaches giving feedback on your work as well. Um, many of them have already been previous members of our Portfolio Campfire workshops, so they already know all the process, uh, what everything's like, um, and they're really just here to help you um, ask yourself the critical questions you need to keep you moving along throughout these 14 days. You can literally tag and ask them anything. If you have any questions along the way, feel free. Um, they're really here to help you. So with that said, we're here to introduce some of our creative coaches. Andreas, if you could say hello. Or give a wave. Hi, I just realized there's there's red paint on that free, on that picture. Oh no, it's not you. I think it's me. I'm not, not sure me. what it is. Okay, oh, I just like let me turn off the annotations. It. Sometimes, like let me, yeah, I'll fix that. No worries. Uh, I would just <laughs> it's, like, anno it's an annotation feature on Zoom. I'll turn it off. Okay. okay. I don't well, know. yeah. Anyways, sorry. Hi. Just give a a one sentence rundown of who you are and what you're about. Uh, my name is Andres. I'm a UX researcher. I've been doing this for almost six years at this point. I and I specialize in qualitative research within the gaming industry. Uh, fun fact: I'm one of like the first batch of mentors that Design Bodies had, so I'm part of like the original, I don't know, like twenty that we had, something like that. Um, yeah, and I am Eastern Time on the I am on the House of Mouse in Florida, and awesome. yeah. Kaylin, is, is Kaylin here? Is that Kaylin? I'm sorry, I can't see anybody. So I'm not sure if she's here or not. I don't think she's here, and I think we can just, okay. I'll, I'll tell you when we can skip. <laughs> Thank you. Is Carl here? Hey, yeah. Uh, so, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Carl. I'm a product designer uh, with maybe 
15 ish years of experience. Um, previously, I've worked you know, with Qualcomm, HyperX, Jaguar Land Rover, uh, Ubiquity. I'm now currently working for a company called Viva in the life sciences industry. Um, yeah, I, I am kind of an expert in UX and uh, user research. Uh, yeah, so hit me up if you have any questions. And hello, everybody in chat. Oh, Grace and Nadia. Hello. Hannah? Hi, I'm Hannah. Um, I've been doing UX for um, over eight years now. I currently uh, work at a big tech company. Um, previously, I've worked at a lot of small startups, so I have that experience as well. Um, yeah, I've worked in the SFA area, so I kind of know this area a little bit. So, hi. Awesome. Kayla? Hey everyone, I'm Kayla. Um, I'm still pretty new to design, but I did the cohort, I think it must have been in July or June with the uh, Harvard Factory. So honestly, it's just been really great, you know, the community and getting to know everyone. And I really found just a lot of inspiration from it. And I'm hoping you guys can too. So yeah, let me know if you need anything and I'll be around. Awesome. And Lisa. Hi everyone, uh, it's a pleasure to meet you all here. Well, I, I'm i one of the creative coaches. I'm currently an industrial design thesis student and also a UX UI designer based in Toronto. I recently finished my UX internship at a bank and yeah, feel free to reach out. I'm really excited to be here. Is Maggie here? Maggie couldn't make it today, oh. but hi Maggie. Hey Maggie. <laughs> <laughs> And Natasha? Hello, I'm Natasha. Um, I'm a recent alumna from OCAD U this past spring, and I was part of the Habit Factory's April Portfolio Campfire cohort. And I was also one of the original members of Hub, the Habit Factory's uh, original, original cohort in, in October. Um, in my free time, I love drawing and painting. Um, you'll also find me knitting random projects from here and there. Uh, it's great to be here. Thank you. And Sean. Hello, uh, I'm Sean from Toronto. I was also in the April Habit Factory cohort. Uh, I'm a grad from Humber College uh, Industrial Design in 2020. Since then, uh, I've been doing a lot of scale model making and commission design projects. I'm a, I'm a certified maker of things. Uh, Awesome to have you back. Sydney? Hi, everyone. My name is Sydney. I'm actually one of the co-hosts tonight with Anna for the Habit Factory. Um, I was also a member of the April cohort, just like uh, Sean and Natasha. It was really an amazing experience, and that is why I'm doing this now. I just want to bring this same community back to you all because I really loved my experience. In the day when I'm not doing this, I am a UX designer freelance, uh, basically for a part of the Ontario government uh, working in education. So if you have any questions about UX research or UX design or UI, um, yeah, feel free to reach out. Vicky, one sentence about yourself. Yeah, hello everyone, my name is Vicky. Uh, I'm a UX and product designer. Like right now, I'm doing a uh, like uh, packaging design and like UX UI uh, web design. So yeah, feel free to reach out if you have any question. Um, yeah, we can arrange like a conversation or a meeting together. Thank you. Thank you, Vicky. So those are all our creative coaches. You'll be able to. Uh, reach out to them in the community if you have any questions. Um, so moving on, we will be having um, a couple of channels within the Portfolio Campfire Discord tab. Um, so I'll just give you a brief rundown of all of the channels um, th through these next few slides. So we have one called the event info slide. I mean event info channel. This is where we will be posting all the event information. Um, so in this channel, we will be posting the daily prompts and these will uh, help you reflect on yourself and your work and how you'll be able to make uh, better portfolio decisions for yourself. Um, so each prompt is focused on helping you find your strengths, your long-term goals, as well as um, how you'll be making your portfolio better. 
so we also have the get feedback channel. This is the main channel where um, everything will be happening. So this is basically kind of like a 24 seven hour uh, feed, if you will, for everyone to post and yeah. share with each other. Yeah. Um, this is where everybody will be posting. So there's going to be a high frequency of posts here. Um, so uh, we will give you a tour of everything afterwards. So there's going to be a specific pro process to this channel just to keep things organized. But this is also the place to give feedback to others. Um, we suspect that the more that you give to other people in the form of responses, the more you'll receive in return. So we always want you to give responses first before expecting um, any feedback coming back your way. So always give genuine feedback to others, other members first, um, and you'll see that you'll also get what you need afterwards. Uh, something Sydney brought up a few days ago was that uh, we wanted to stress and I think that's a really funny way to describe it. Um, it's, a really, it's a really interesting way to describe it because um, there's just really no set time zones to participate in this workshop. You'll find that there's no like video course content or any like um, classroom type activity that we all do together at the same time. Everything is led by yourself and on your own schedule, except for these campfire nights, that's it. So everybody participating in this workshop will be on their own schedule. Um, you'll respond to the daily prompts at your own time. Um, you'll be, there's really no like uh, deadline for any of this. Um, everything is self-led, self-directed by you. So that is what we mean by this workshop is asynchronous. Uh, so we, again, we have three portfolio campfire nights. This is one of them, um, the one we have next Next week is uh, just a one-to-one -one peer portfolio review. It's a very casual type of review, um, nothing too heavy, so don't stress out over it. It's made to be very casual. Um, and the final one that we have uh, happening September 20th is when um, we have a small little live audience portfolio show and tell, and it will be a very limited uh, number of folks who will um, present their portfolio, but everybody will have access to the type of feedback that they receive and um, uh, have access to ask any questions that they might have about building a portfolio. So this is what an ideal workshop day looks like. Um, you'll spend around 20 minutes to one and a half hours, um, ideally doing the work um, in this workshop. Um, hint, the more you put into this workshop, the more you'll find that you get out of it. Um, so with the daily prompts, we suggest that you put in a bit of time, just 15 to 25 minutes to um, help you improve your portfolio. And um, aside from that, uh, you'll also have to make your own portfolio process. So, like these are things like small little portfolio tweaks. Like if you um, make like a, a new case study and you wanna get uh, feedback on it, just take a screenshot of that uh, work you did for your new case study, post it on the get feedback channel and maybe ask a specific question about what kind of feedback you want to receive. So like you can ask, does this um, information flow well on this case study? Um, what do you think of the imagery to text ratio? Like things like that, just like the, the nitty gritty. Um, so this is really so that you can just um, focus on doing coming back on a day-to-day -day basis and not worry about uh, just getting everything done on like two days. Oh no, something happened to my slide. Okay, but anyways, what this workshop is slash isn't, um, like I mentioned earlier, it is a place where, where you can get your portfolio work done. Um, it's a professional and safe environment for you to share your work and yourself and your fears and your vulnerabilities and all of that stuff. It is not a place where we will literally hold your hand every step of the way. Um, it is a very self-directed process. Um, it's not a collection of videos you will just watch and just sit back on um, while your work waits for you. Um, it is a very, again, asynchronous process. Oh, there it is. 
Okay, anyway, uh, so just from like a bird's eye point of view, this is our 14 days. Um, there's not a whole lot of variation in between just because we know everybody is at different points of their portfolio. Um, so wherever you are in your portfolio progress process, just uh, let us know where you are, what you need um, to get um, to your next steps in your portfolio making process and we'll go from there. And Sydney, would you able, be able to take over from the slide? Absolutely. So hi everyone, this is Sydney speaking now. I'm taking over from here on out for Anna. She needs a break from talking, so hi. Uh, just checking in. So if you could maybe raise your fingers up uh, on the screen, how clear is everything feeling for you right now? So a five would be that things are feeling very clear. And then a one would be that you're like, you know, super confused. You have lots of questions. Oh, I love that everyone's sending it in the chat. That's even better. Oh no, I see some threes. Oh no. If you have a, if you're showing a three, what is confusing you at the moment? Maybe we could do like uh, a few minutes of Q and A right now, but we'll we'll yeah, sure to clarify everything at the end. Yeah. So anyone that has a three, if you guys have a very specific question to ask, we'd love to answer it to make things more like a four or a five. Just a quick note for the Discord channels. Um, if you don't have access to it yet, we sent out a form and you can find it really quickly in your acceptance email and we'll be adding you right after this event as well. So you will see it. Yes. Um, if you're not in the Discord community yet, be sure to check your email, like Grace said, and follow the instructions we gave you so that you can join in on this process so that everything will make sense for you. Yeah. Are we getting any questions for... Um, yeah, a few. So, okay. So let's see. So Roselle says, how much is too much text or story? I think this is in relation to the portfolio. This is like a good question to ask on the discord channel. It's something that, mm -hmm. you know, people will obviously have different opinions on because it is the creative industry. Everyone has their own feelings about questions like that, but ask that in the discord channel and, um, you know, maybe you'll see what other people think. Um, and then Annie J is saying, is the Habit Factory portfolio channel on Discord? I think you guys just answered that. So yeah, it is on Discord. Uh, just like Grace said, you know, um, we're just we'll, give a, we'll give a Discord tour at the end of this presentation so that you know where everything is. And then we'll do another Q&A like this afterwards to see if there's a little bit more confusion. But I think afterwards should be okay. Yep. Anything else? Okay. Any more questions? <laughs> okay, let's move on for now. Great. Um, <laughs> so the only rule of the Habit Factory, as Anna has said before, is that you need to share the progress that you've completed every day with the group on the hashtag get feedback channel. I know from a past cohort member, um, since I was in the fa Habit Factory as a cohort member, the more that you post, the more you commit to daily, the more you will get out of this. Even if you think it's really bad, sometimes I even just sent in like straight up, like a yellow sticky note of like three things that I thought about that day, like new ideas or anything like that. Please, please, please make sure you share your progress. No progress is too little. As long as you're committing to it every day, you're thinking about it, just make sure to share it with us. And then, you know, it'll just build and build. That's what we're looking to do. Mm -hmm. So community guidelines, um, I think Grace covered this in the beginning, but of course be kind. Um, negativity, discouragement, and other unwelcome behavior will not be tolerated. I'm sure that you guys have presented your creative work to others before. It's a very vulnerable and sensitive spot to be in when you're showing your work, you're kind of bearing your all. So we know that it can be really scary. So to make it a little less scary, uh, just remember that all of us here, we've all been in the same spot and being kind is really something that can encourage someone to keep sharing their work, to keep getting better. So yeah, be kind. <laughs> uh, we love thoughtful comments. So this is a space where your creative work is getting seen for the first time and thoughtful comments are key to keeping things professional and to keeping your creative development going forward and positive and so examples of productive feedback. Um, thank you, Michaela, for sharing this. 
Your work so far shows a detailed and thorough look into the world of smart tech. It's wordy for an outsider like me. I'm wondering if it would be more valuable to your audience if it held less text and more images. So this is appreciation, there is a critique, and then there's a positive at the end. So that is like a, a kind of sandwiched critique. And then the lending a hand one beneath it says, I loved how you structured your case study in this project, Paul. I'm wondering if that same structure would benefit other parts of your website as well to improve information flow. Let me know if you want help with it. We can even host a quiet working session with the other members. Some members have done that in the past too. So feel free, if you guys are noticing that you're having similar issues, you can always set up things outside of the Discord um, to keep your work moving further along. And then see you on the Discord channel, of course. So again, one more time, the value from this workshop comes through feedback with each other and active communication across the group. Be sure to post your progress every day. Be sure to comment on people's work, especially if you have stuff to say about it. If you are thinking, you know, like, I really love the way they did this. Feel free to put it out there. Like, no, no feedback is unwanted. We love feedback. Um, yeah. And so what is next? Uh, share your answer to the first prompt under the get feedback channel in the Discord. If you are in the Discord yet, if not, then, you know, just wait on that and uh, do it when you can and then respond to two or three other members posts. Yes. Um, and before we move on to the Discord tour, is everybody on Discord? Like, if you're not on the Discord community, um, can you raise your hand or type something in the chat to let us know? If there's no responses, I'm gonna assume everybody's there. Um, no, there's definitely a lot of response. <laughs> Yana, Cynthia. Okay, um, so if yeah. you aren't on the Discord channel yet, uh, Grace, what do they do? Yeah, um, our admin team and I will be adding you shortly after our event and we'll send a reminder email with the recording and everything too. So you have access to like all the material um, right after this as well. So you'll get it shortly within like an hour or two or so. Um, but yeah, make sure you fill out that form. I'm gonna post it again in the chat because every time I post it, I get new new sign up. So I'll post it again. Yes. Um, it's also in your acceptance email if you lose it in the chat. Yes, please post it in the chat. And then if you see it in the chat, do click on the link and follow all the prompts so you can get um, access into the Discord channel and uh, see what we're talking about here. Um, without it, you won't be able to participate. So please get onto that. Um, I will be showing you the Discord space. Do you see my screen still? Yep, yeah, I we see okay, it. So over here, where my cursor is, you will see that um, we have a couple of channels for the portfolio oh, campfire. Wait, do you think we're, we, can't, we don't see the Discord channel? Sorry, we can see your screen, but it's on the slideshow. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, let me do this again. I was like, I know they're creative thinkers, but I don't think, I don't think they're going to be that visual. You're like, so imagine here okay. to the left. Is this better? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, perfect. Um, oh, okay. So in this tab where you see uh, my cursor moving, these are all the channels you will need for the Portfolio Campfire Workshop. Um, like we mentioned earlier, event info. This is the channel where we will post all the daily prompts. Um, for this channel, it will be mostly the creative coaches or myself posting. Um, so you won't really be um, active here, but you'll get access to the prompts here. Um, this is just to keep things more organized. So you'll see that we already posted the first prompt, which is let's set your goal. Um, just follow the uh, prompt and then um, do all of this. And when you post your response to the prompt, um, you do all of that in the get feedback channel. So this is where everybody will be posting ideally on a daily basis. So um, we will be posting daily prompts and portfolio briefs to um, help you get your portfolio progress moving along um, and any other feedback you need, you want for your uh, portfolio progress, this is where you post it as well. Um, so like we said, um, everything that we mentioned will be pinned in this comment by Grace. Um, she has kindly put all the descriptions of all the channels in 
uh, the top of all the channels. So uh, I hopefully you won't get lost in all of this um, stuff. But uh, announcements, this is where we will be posting um, meetings and resources or any other uh, event announcements that you will need. Um, this channel is for us. Uh, and the general channel is basically where you can um, ask any general questions you have, either about this workshop or growing as a designer professionally um, or any other advice you might need um, in your portfolio building process and you don't know where to post the question, just post it here in the general channel and uh, one of us, somebody will answer you. Um, any questions from anybody? Post it, post your questions. If you have any in the chat, Sydney will read them out loud and we'll uh, answer them. So Lindsay Macbeth asks, will we still be able to access the portfolio campfire channels after this event ends on September 20th? That's a really good question. Um, Grace, would they be able to have access or would this channel be? We can, okay. if y'all want access to it, we can make it read only. So you can just like take a look at everyone's feedback and your feedback. So you never lose track of it. But I would recommend just taking a screenshot of everything as well. So you have a copy of it. Um, and if you scroll towards the very bottom of our channels, you can see like very, very bottom. Uh, we can actually keep like, for example, Spline 3D challenge, like past event stuff. Um, I don't know why y'all don't see the other ones too, but we basically keep all the submissions there too. So these are like read only, you can just go back and refer to it anytime too. Mm -hmm. As you can see, the Design Buddies Discord channel is very active with tons of resources and tons of stuff. So there's lots to explore here. Um, but throughout all of this, this is where Portfolio Campfire is where the workshop will be um, hosted. So be sure to check this every day. Um, it's basically where we will be active on a daily basis. Any other questions? Also, make sure to join the intros thread in general and post your intros and connect with each other. Uh, usually in past campfires, maybe this goes without saying, but with the introductions, a lot of folks like to add each other on LinkedIn and things like that uh, mm -hmm. beyond just the Discord because, you know, you never really know like what kind of connections you're going to make. It just kind of keeps everyone connected beyond when the campfire ends and when it becomes a read only. So definitely if that's something that you're into, like feel free to link your LinkedIn in the introduction. I will be adding you if you do that. I love adding people on LinkedIn. <laughs> mm -hmm. So if anybody is confused on what we're talking about, under the general chat, we have a thread called the Portfolio Campfire Introductions. And this is where everybody has been introducing themselves so far. If you haven't done so already, please post your introduction here um, and we'll uh, interact with you over there. I guess one more thing I would like to um, clarify is that when you're posting stuff on the Get Feedback channel, um, if you are replying to a post, you have to click create thread. And then, I'll, for example, I'll do it here. Um, if, if I'm responding to a uh, post that Grace um, posted, for example, um, to keep things organized, if I'm going to respond to Grace, I'm going to name this Grace her full name, Grace Ling, and then um, archive after an activity. Let's just put it to 24 hours. So that's create thread, set the archive and activity to 24 hours, and then set the title of the thread to the author's name, which is Grace, and then um, click create thread. And then this is an example of a reply. And then that's it. So then when I do this, Grace will get this little um, thread under the Get Feedback channel. And this is how we'll keep all the information organized because the nature of Discord is so that everything is just uh, posted and posted and posted. This just keeps things um, a little bit more tidy, if you will. So yes, so that's a very important part of the Get Feedback channel. I just wanted to clarify that part. Um, 
hopefully that makes sense for everybody. Are there any more questions from the community, Sydney? It's not looking like it. Okay. If we could get like a read of hands again, five being you're super excited, you don't have any questions, you're super confident, you can get the first day rolling. Um, give me a five. If you're like a one, um, that's like, you're really unclear, you, you have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, you're, yeah, you just have no idea what's going on <laughs> and you need help, uh, let um, me know. So Rebecca says, so our first post about our goals goes into the Get Feedback channel? Yes. Exactly. So uh, what Rebecca was saying, um, the first post should be a response to the day one um, prompt, which is under the event info. And then when you respond, you just put it under the Get Feedback channel. I think that's pretty good. I'm seeing, you know, 4.5, 4.9, Okay. So right after, right um, put it under the get feedback channel, which is the channel you'll be posting everything um, under, and then uh, everything will go on from there. And We'll do this on a daily basis. We'll be here to help you if you have any questions. Uh, and that's basically it. I'll stop sharing my screen now if nobody has any other questions. As we for more questions, you could do a group photo. Um, as they like do in Design Buddies, we can, as we for more questions, should go in. Um, but yeah, if you have act trouble accessing the threads really quick, um, make sure to click that hashtag icon. It's on the top, top bar um next to the name of the channel so yeah and let me just like link the tutorial on the really quick so it'll be easier but so you know where it is um but feel free to turn on your camera we can do a group photo we like to start off with the wave first like for our instagram story and we'll tag habit, habit, habit factory um and then doing a static group photo so I'll count down a few seconds. Meanwhile, if you have any more questions, make sure to drop them in the chat and we'd be happy to answer them. And we'll post the photo right after on Discord as well. So y'all have the fun memories. Um, all right. And so those are threads. So make sure to check out that FAQ if you have trouble accessing threads. It works very similarly to Slack. If you're used to Slack, if you never used Discord before or are unfamiliar with it, think of it as Slack, but more casual. Um, all right, 10. Oh, feel free to like grab any um, object you want. Like some people grab their pets. I have my pet here um, or your, yeah, your friends, your um, things on your desk. Um, as I count down, it can be on our photo as well. You like to be a bit more casual here compared to like other events. Um, all right, I'll count down 10 seconds so y'all can grab your stuff and I'll do a wave um, or a static one first. Actually, no, a way, a static one first and a way for Instagram story. Um, is it a duck? Or Nadia, is that a duck? Whoa, <laughs> I love ducks. It's a goose. Oh, nice. <laughs> My partner, he went to Waterloo, so he gave me this for, nice. for Christmas. It's I just not thought it was real. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 10, 9. So it's a static first and then a way. 8, 7, Six. I'll do multiple pages. Oh my god, it's a bread cat. Wait, so many stuffed animals. I love seeing all of that. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Smile. I usually take multiple and I pick the one that look that everyone looks the best in. So just stay smiling. You know how <laughs> it's like, right? <laughs> all right, let me go to the other page. Oh, there's multiple pages. All right. All right, we can, we can do a wave now for Instagram story. So at design.buddies in Habit Factory. All right, ready, set, wave. Hello, buddies. We are here with our wonderful portfolio campfire kickoff um, with the Habit Factory. Thank you, buddies, for coming. And we look forward to see what y'all make in these next two weeks. Cool. We like to do this for fun. Anyways, for any questions, we can get back to them. Awesome. Um, if, if the channels are locked for, um, somebody, what does that mean? 
if I don't know Grace do they have to have like some kind of access for the channels y'all should oh, have oh I don't know Amanda Amanda says it's locked for her I'm not sure if that oh that's strange um we will double check your discord id um let me just like search it up right now but if you if you find that you're having troubles like you're in the discord community but um some of the channels are locked for you do feel free to um reach out to any of us um you can email me personally at anna at habitfactory.space i'll type it in the chat or you can um and are they available like are they able to ask any questions in the discord directly grace yeah, you can ask you can ask questions in general. Um, if you want to post any screenshots, I can see if I can answer them as well. Yeah, and then get yeah, feedback is all for the daily prompts and general sort of like general chat. Mm -hmm. um, any other questions? Uh, Lauren asks, should we wait for a sample submission on the hashtag get feedback channel for the day one prompt or are we free to submit whenever? You are free to submit whenever. Um, yeah. I do think you bring up a great point, Lauren. Um, I think I will do a sample submission just to um, show what we ideally want to see. And then um, if you could just, I guess, follow that example, you'll be golden. So, but if you, if you already know what we're getting at and you already like, you know, just have everything ready, feel free to post first. Like there's no, there's no, you know. <laughs> um, I would say a suggestion, this was back when I was a cohort member, at the top when you post your response in the Get Feedback channel, I found it helpful to say which day I was replying to. I think there was one day where I mm -hmm. fell off the horse a little bit, so I had to do them both in like a kind of kind of jumbo post. So sometimes it's just helpful for people to give you feedback if they know what you're answering. So, you know, like day one and then start with your, your submission to the prompt. Mm -hmm. We're super looking forward to all of your portfolio progress and seeing all the changes you'll be making on your websites and posting it in the Get Feedback channel. Um, we'll be definitely be really active on that channel. You'll see responses from everybody in the cohort um, replying to all of the responses. Um, if anybody has any other questions, uh, we will be available to answer them in the Discord general channel. So just questions, go to the general channel. Anything else, um, just, yeah. Every, everything, actually just everything question related, put in the general channel. We'll get <laughs> back to you as soon as we can. Um, and I think that is basically everything. Grace, are there any last words from the Design Buddies community that you want to add? Yeah, yeah, it was mostly covered. Um, but if at any point you learned something really insightful, like Creative Coach shared some feedback and you learned something, feel free to share it on your social media and tag Habit Factory, tag Design Buddies. Um, what I've done in the past is I've always reshared stuff on our Instagram store, retweeted stuff on Twitter, like and comment on Design Buddies LinkedIn so we can boost up visibility in your posts. So definitely share it. It helps you all like build your own personal brand as well. And we would love to see like before and after portfolios as well. So like definitely share your progress. We would love to see it. Yeah. If you aren't following Design Buddies or the Habit Factory already, be sure you, you are doing so right now. Um, and Yes, please, please, please just do um, us a favor and get yourself registered for the Discord channel. Get yourself ready and we'll see you in the in the Discord. Other yeah. than that, I think that wraps up our meeting. Thank you everybody for coming. Um, I hope that was was not too much to handle. Um, it was <laughs> a lot of information. We will, we will be posting the slides um, in the Discord. So if you missed anything, don't worry about it. Yes, and we will add as many people as we can um, after this event to our Discord channel. So make sure you all have access to it. And we'll, I'll send out the recording. So in case you all missed any part, you can go back and watch. Um, and yeah, have fun, everyone. We're excited to see what y'all make. Woo! Thank you for coming. Yeah, thanks for coming. Thank you. Bye, everyone. See you everyone. next Monday.
um, at around this time, we're two hours earlier at this time. So yeah. Should I end the meeting now? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Bye everyone. Well, that was great. Um, I will send out the recordings and stuff because I have it linked right here. Sounds All right. Good. Bye everyone.